of Jesus Christ. Be holy. Be holy. In all the manner of your life, be worthy be the gospel of Jesus Brother, in all the manner of your life, be worthy. Sisters, in all the manner of your life, be holy. Be holy. This is the gospel of Jesus Christ. Be prepared. The righteous will soon take place. Be holy. Be holy. This is the message from Jesus. Be prepared. Be prepared. In all the manner of your life. Be ready. Be ready. This is the message. From Jesus Christ, be holy, be holy, holy. in all the manner of your be worthy. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Our daddy had no other message than be holy, mm -hmm. ready. I am coming soon. I pray the grace to keep ourselves holy, pure, and ready for Him. Be given to all us, all of us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Please, for those of us who are connected from um, go to meeting, I've had some some arguments that uh, those in Africa, Zoom is too low, it's, it's too hard for them. The 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 power in Zoom drag their money easily, and those of us who are so rich in Europe also the same thing. So because of that, I. I will say the Lord will provide for us. We will leave it for now. And because uh, we don't want people in Africa not, not to be, to be uh, I mean, to be left out. So, no problem. The, the go to meeting will continue. Though it's costly, I believe the Lord will provide for us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. The message before us this morning is let your conduct showcase Christ. Let your conduct, let your lifestyle, let everything that you are doing showcase Christ to the world. Let your conduct showcase Christ. Now, I ask myself this question. And I ask you this question. Is your conduct, is your lifestyle showcasing Christ? Are you living the life of Jesus Christ? Can people see you and say, yes, I want to be born again? Even before you preach, you say, ah, your lifestyle alone is enough for me. I want to be born again. Are you living the life that showcases Christ to the people? Or you are even chasing people away from being born again? Hey, if being born again is the lifestyle of this man, I will never be born again. If to be born again is to become like this, 
this life you are living I will not be born again I better remain a drunker not to be born again and become a liar I better remain a fornicator not to be born again and become a gossiper what is that lifestyle you that is chasing people away from Christ? What is that your conduct that is conducting people to hell instead of bringing people to Christ? The Lord is saying to me today and saying to you, if you must live as a child of God, live a life that will bring people to him. Life will conduct people to him. Life that's worthy of his glory. The Bible told us in 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 15 to 16. But as he which has called you and I is holy, so be ye holy. Be ye holy as my father and your father is holy. He called us that through us he can call other people. Is your lifestyle not calling other people or chasing them away even far from the Lord? But it's appealing for you and I today, to you and I today that we must live the life that is worthy of bringing people to Him. Because He said He is holy. We should be holy in all manner of conversation, in all manner of our life. Talk holy, even sleep holy. Do everything you are doing holy and righteously. Verse 16. Because it is written. It is written. Be ye holy. It is a command that we should be holy. For he, the Lord, is holy. You see now, you have no choice than to be holy. I have no choice than to be holy. Say, he that called me and you is holy. Where do we see that sin from? Where are we borrowing that lifestyle from? Let's chase people from, from God now. Hmm. He told us in Leviticus chapter 11, verse 42, 44. For I, the Lord, your Father, your Creator, your God, I am holy. We must be sanctified. Sanctify yourself thereof. For the Lord is saying so. And be holy. For I am the Lord your God. You shall therefore sanctify yourself. And be holy. For I am holy. If you must come to me heaven, you must be holy. If you must call me and I will come to you and bless you not to come and strike you. You must be holy. Don't call me in sin. Don't call me in unrighteousness. I am a righteous God. And I do righteous things. So if the Lord must come to you in that prayer, you must be holy. Call him in holiness, in righteousness. And he will answer you holily and righteously. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. I says we must be careful not to defy ourselves. Don't defy yourself with the words of your mouth, with the clothes you wear, the food you eat. Everything you do must be holy so that you will not be defied. Don't defy yourself with the creepy things, with the things of this world. More than 80% of the things of this world, they defy. So what do we do? We meditate on the world that came in the morning. Be watchful. Prove everything. Before you do anything, praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. He said to us, Whatsoever you do, and whatsoever you do in word and in deed, whatsoever you eat, whatsoever you drink, wherever you go, anything at all must be done in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And if it must be done in his name, since his name is holy, it must be done holy. Colossians 3, verse 17. 
and whatsoever you do in word and in deed, do all, all, not some, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Give it down to God and the Father by Him. So, if you must do it in His name, you must do it holily and righteous because His name is holy and righteous. And He said to us, everything must be done that way. Nothing is exempted. Everything we do must be done holily and righteously because it is done in His name. Don't do anything that is not glorify Him as a child of God. Remember, he told us the other day that we are borrowed. The life we are living is a borrowed life. So we must leave it to him that gave us the life. If we must do anything, if we must walk on the streets, walk holily. Because it's, it's watching you. If that step you are making is a holy step. If that, the call you are calling is a, if it's a holy call. Because everything you are doing as a child of God is done in his name. Don't stay him. Don't let his name be defied. You are his shocator. You and I, we are his ambassador. Satan is watching us closely. So, we must be careful to make sure everything we are doing is done in his name and done well. Don't holy and don't righteously. And I pray God will help us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Mm. That's why he told us for us to be able to live this kind of life, we must be separated from the world. We must not be conformed to the world. But we must be transformed. By the renewing of our mind. Let our mind be the mind of Christ all the time. Let our mind be the mind of God all the time. The mind of God is always holy. He speaks holily. He does righteous things. According to the book of Romans 12, verse 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed. That we are in the we are in time of transformation. Transformation by five seconds bill. Be ye transformed into the mind of God. Be transformed by renew your mind at all time. That you may prove what is that good. And acceptable and perfect. Sister, not just the will, the perfect one. <laughs> it's not the way we take it. It's more than what you are thinking. To make heaven is more serious than what you think. The perfect will of God. God does not need 99%. 99% is not a perfect one. So, let us strive harder. Strive harder in everything you are doing. If you must speak, speak a speak perfect word of God. Or, you better, or if you are keep quiet, keep quiet perfectly. Amen? Amen. Amen. If you are keeping quiet, keep quiet perfect and make sure your heart is not saying it. Perfect quietness. Perfect speaking. Perfect sleeping. And perfect waking up. Perfect praying. In holiness. Everything that doing must be done that way. So that you can be proved so that it can be approved and be acceptable. For we to be acceptable, everything we are doing must be done holily and perfectly. Remember, he told us in Matthew chapter 5, verse 48. As he that is called us is perfect, we must be perfect. It means perfection from us. Has anybody told you it cannot be possible? It is possible. His grace is enough for you. Contact his grace. Live by his grace. Live by him. Borrow yourself instead of him. And everything you are doing will be done perfect. Praise Master Jesus.
Hallelujah. Uh, is the I was talking to uh, Apostle Biren. He read your book. The, bef- for you to live a holy life, anything you want to do, ask God, should I do this thing? Father, I want to go to Ludwigsburg. Should I go? I want to drink water. Is it the time to drink water? So that our problem is that sometimes we, we underrate God and overestimate God for special things. It's not it's just only water. Can I ask God what is the need? It's only water now. Just only book here. I, I can go without telling him. It's not far. But some people step down in their step case, they dead there. The dead there. We'll be saying the journey is just two minutes journey. How can I tell God about this one? Oh, I only went to, hey, how can I say God thank you? Hey, I came back. I only want to go and take clothes outside now. To take clothes outside and come back is actually should I be thank God? I, I use my wisdom there. No. So in everything, let him know, consult him. Making your chief consultant. And everything you are, you are doing will be done holy and righteous. Because he will not tell you to do what is against him. If you ask him and patiently wait, he will not ask you to do what will destroy you. That's why it's very wonderful to always ask God before we do anything. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. He said we are created by him to be, to, to, so he can use us to create things. So we are his work worship. He created us to make us to recreate things. He, he, he formed us and through us he can reform people. So people have been deformed. So people are living a deformed life. So he formed you, formed me, so that we can, through us, he can reform them. Let your world be a reforming world. Let your lifestyle be a lifestyle that reforms people. Not lifestyle that evil deform them more and more. He said to us in Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10, For we are his workmanship. We are the, the hand work of his We are the hand work of his hand. And he wants to also use us to recreate. To, 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 re, to reform people. So, so created in Christ. Jesus unto good work. We are his workmanship, created in Christ, unto good work. We God has before ordained that we should work in them. They are everywhere. So many different people are everywhere, everywhere. So you have created us in Christ so that through us it can recreate them. There are many souls that need recreation. Their mind needs to be recreated. So what do we do? Let's make ourselves available in holiness, in righteousness, for the Lord to use us to recreate them, to reform them. So many people have been crippled. So many souls are crippled. You and I are going to go and tell them, rise up and walk. You can walk again. ISIS, you can walk again. They are crippled. They have been, they have been condemned. But we can we can. We can we can, we can bring them back to life again through our lifestyle and our words. They are watching us. Yesterday, someone wrote me uh, from, from Facebook from a very far place. Say, hey, sir, I wonder the kind of energy you have. I wonder how you are. Say, I'm a pastor too. I wonder how you are doing it. Everything about your page is wonderful. Say we are say we are blessed by you. Very far in a very Say you you are reform, you are a reformer. You are a reformer. So please pray for us also that we may be able to be the way you are. That is the kind of life we should be living. Joyfully do it, not, the, not when, they, when they push you to do it. Remember, someone is watching us. Every time, look, of, look for what to do. 
What do I do now to make my father happy? In holiness, in righteousness, without looking for who would, who would bless for it. Who, uh, maybe if I do that, uh, sister, so, so, so come and give me. No! Just because of heaven, I believe is somebody read this one now. Or hear this one now. There is somebody that I'm talking to. So God grant me wisdom. As you are eating, Father, after this food now, what do I eat now? What next do I, I need to do something. Somebody is there somewhere. And something must be done now. Every second, every minute, think of what to do. Think, what, God, what do I do next now? Say, we are his workmanship. We are created to work with him. To work for him. What are we doing? Let our conduct showcase Christ. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm not trying to be, I'm not trying to be, I'm not boasting. So then I'll say, yeah, I, I pray this woman will not, will, not be, will not be angry now. I pray this woman. Because I, I want to do something. I want to I, I, I want to be to be to be effective all the time. I want somebody somewhere to see something somebody come out of me. Or out of their belly shall flow. He said it's not well, it's a river. River, not just drum. River keep flowing. Keep flowing. Say out of their belly shall flow rivers of living water. If it does not flow, it is it will be sticking. It's a lot of them. I'm carrying a river, not just a drum, not just a cup. See something in me, the whole world can, can take from it, and it is still be surplus. So what? Why should I just stay there without doing something? Make it a duty every day. If possible, every hour, let something come out of you that will make heaven rejoice. If only just go to Facebook, hey, God bless somebody today. Hey, sister, Anne, you are blessed. You, you have just blessed somebody, but you don't know. Somebody who was, who was just down there, just want to hear somebody say, you are blessed. That you are blessed alone makes somebody to be revived again. You mean, hey, someone can tell me I'm blessed? But in your mind, you just said it out. You just wrote it. But you have just talked to somebody somewhere. Somebody says, ah, oh, God, thank you for the life of this woman. Hey, Father, thank you for this man. Hey, I am blessed again today. Thank you, Jesus. Look for something to do. But in holiness, in righteousness, not in hypocrisy. Because the Lord is watching you. The Lord is watching us. Soon and very soon, we all come out with our report card. This is the life I live while I was on earth. When I was in Africa, I lived this way. Father, have mercy upon me. That one was not good. Now, when I came to Europe, I make myself perfect for you. Look at the life. It's clean, sir. Say, yes, I see it, my daughter. I see it, my son. You live a clean life. And all your life, all your lifestyle was full of work. Because you know, I told you, my heavenly father work and I will work. And you also say, my father will go to heaven and I will also be working. Every day I see you working and working, never tired. Enter rest now. Which rest do you want to go and rest? What, which work do you want for you that you say you want to go and rest? Heaven is a place of rest. People, sorry, people that work on earth here. For the Lord, they are the ones that will go to heaven and go and rest. They come into my rest. Which work have you done? They say, I'm expecting rapture. Rapture? Rapture? Hmm. Have you done anything? There was, there was, there was a testimony of heaven and hell that a sister gave. When Christ followed this sister to hell, a young boy was saying, Hey, Jesus Christ, have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. Say, I shall have mercy upon you. Say, yes. Say, just quote a Bible verse, a place in the Bible. If you can quote one, a place, I'll put you out of this right now. This boy could not quote any verse. This boy is maybe about 
40 years, I don't know. Just a Bible verse we take him away from hell. He could not quote just even John 3 16. No way. Since now, why are you telling him to pull you away from here? Your 14 years of earth, nothing about me, you. So, you will remain here. So, I'm saying this because of our children. Let us teach them to walk. Don't tell it to jabbering where they'll be teaching them how to eat rice and beans every Sunday. How to eat Coca Fanta every Sunday. Every Sunday, somebody must do, do birthday. Do birthday to drink Fanta and Coke. And all their body is full of Fanta, Coke, and pie. Let us teach them. Because of one Bible verse, that young boy is still in hell till today. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Maybe if it was if it was an elderly man, woman, we say quote five. Quote five. Uh, John three. Uh, uh, the Nicodemus chapter five. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, people be quoting Nicodemus chapter five. Hmm? Psalm C verse ten. Psalm C chapter three verse ten. He is there that one in the Bible? I, I remember uh, Apostle Peace was talking about something one time. So you are, you are telling me now Psalm 6 chapter 2. Be holy in all the manner of your life. Be worthy. Work for the Lord. is worth working for. Jesus is worth working for. See people that the world employ. See how they are working tirelessly. See the ISIS. See them. They work tirelessly. Even myself, I'm not doing. I'm not doing nothing. I'm not. If I see the way these people are working, for devil working to go to hell, they are working tirelessly. I am not doing nothing. So let us wake up from our slumber. Work for the Lord in holiness and in righteousness. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works. Let your light so shine before all men that they may see your good work and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Somebody wants to glorify God because of what you have done. Somebody wants to say, hey, thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God because of your lifestyle. Because of your conduct. Let your conduct bring glory to the Lord. Let everything about you, you are, he said, you are the light of the world. Let your light shine bright, holily, righteously. And people say, Father, thank you. For having somebody like this on earth, I'm happy. Let somebody wake up and say, Hey, because Sister Dupe is there, I know my day will be bright again. Because Sister Edith is there, I know my life will be brightened again today. I will get such from her again. I think her call alone is enough for me to live with today again. Oh, uh, somebody say, Ah, I better even tell myself. Oh, with this woman, will I see this woman again today with her with her problem? She says it's born again, but her lifestyle is full of problem, sorrow, and pain. Let somebody live because you are living. Let somebody be happy because you are living. Let somebody rejoice, but not to the detriment of your soul. Don't make somebody happy to the detriment of your soul. Do everything accordingly and the lord will help us in the name of jesus christ amen therefore even there unto we are ye called because christ also suffered for us leaving us an example that you should follow his steps first peter 2 21 follow the step of christ he said to me that time say my son Always watch my leg. Wherever I remove leg, put your leg there. 
But if you put your leg in where I'm not putting my own, you might put your leg in the trap. Many pastors today, they are trapped down because they never watch the step of Christ. That's why that, what I was saying yesterday, it challenged me more and more. If you let the world step, you will never fall. If you are putting your leg in where you put his legs, you will never be caught up in any trap. First Peter 2 21. For evil here unto we are ye called, because Christ also suffered for us. If you if you labor for his work, it's not a bad thing. If you suffer for Christ, sister, it's not a bad thing. If you suffer for the for the sake of the gospel, it's not a bad thing. If you have been mocked because of Christ, it's a good mockery. If you have been punished for Christ, it's a wonderful punishment. I tell you, in time to come, you will forever be at rest. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Let us live an exemplary life. Because we are living the life of Christ. That you should follow his step. Whose step are you following? That your pastor? That pastor that don't know if Christ will exist. That pastor that doesn't even know if there's any called holiness. This morning, he said to me, say, hey, my son, oh, they have finished uh, Shiloh of Doom again. So they have just ended Shiloh of Doom again. Shiloh of destruction. In that Shiloh, they never told my children about rapture throughout, throughout the Shiloh. They never told my children about hell fire throughout the Shiloh. My son, is there a Shiloh of doom? I said, Father, it's, it's what you call it. What you call it is what, it, what it is. Daddy, if you call it Shiloh of doom, it's Shiloh of doom. They, ne they never tell my people, my children, my fear. How to make money, make money, make money. That's how, that's what they told them. At the end, they will all end up in hair fire. So I say, my son, look at all of them. Man. Hundreds of thousands. If I come there, no single one. Oh, Jesus. No single one will follow me. Apostle, it's not a joke. It's like, no single. No single one will follow me. I just rest on my chair here. I just say no single one. They have just closed from the shiloh of doom. That your church is it a church of doom? Run away. Run away. And begin to follow the footsteps of Christ. Is is that Jesus know the way? To that promised land. All we got to do is to follow. Jesus know the way to that promised land. All we got to do is to follow. Only Jesus knows the way. That grace, you want to make heaven? Follow. <laughs> Sister Gift, you want to go to heaven? Trace the step of Jesus Christ. Apostle, if we follow our own step, we'll, we'll go to hell. Our mind will confuse us. Our mind will derail us. Our mind will frustrate us. Better follow the man, the, the, the step of hit another way. Sister, I put a man who don't know the way, only Christ knows the way. No man on earth know the way. No angel know the way. Only Jesus Christ know the way. Mm. If you follow me, you may. So I made mistakes sometimes, but Christ never makes mistakes. Amen. 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 Apostle Emmanuel made mistakes. Jesus will never make mistakes. Never. That's why people do write me uh, almost all the time. And so I want to I want to make me your mentor. So I will melt you down. I will melt you down. 
Only Jesus can be your mentor and he will maintain you to heaven. I am, I am not saying it to the president. I'm saying what I tell people. Many, there are so many pastors. Pastors have written me, sir. I'm not, the way you, your life says, I want you to be my mentor. They might say, yeah. <laughs> if I be your mentor, if I'm melting, you melt with me. Make Jesus Christ your mentor. Let you and I join together and make him our mentor. Mm -hmm. If I am your mentor, you will trust me all true. You will not be, you can't pray more than your mentor. When your mentor says, let's sleep, you are sleeping. When your mentor says, let's study, that's what you study. But if Christ is your mentor, you don't, you don't have to ask me before you do anything. So, brother, pastor, make Christ your mentor. Only Christ is holy and pure. Pure. Purely pure. Purely pure. So, let us trace his step. Let us follow him. We, can, we come here and preach the gospel. Remember, it, it's not all that preach it that practice it. Mm -hmm. That's why you also must be very careful. Hey, I know one, one pastor, the pastor preach holiness. Satan is, I've, I've started giving them mercy of holiness to also preach. So it's holiness now. Okay, God, hey, preach it to them. Remember, even Satan turned to the end of light. So let us open our eyes. Let us be careful so that we will not follow those who are, who are going to. to, to, to to also go to destruction. And I pray that will not be our portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. So what do we do? Say, let us walk honestly. Honesty is demanded. Be honest to yourself. Be honest to that woman. Be honest to ourselves. Honesty is holiness. Amen. Honesty is holiness and righteousness. If you can be honest, you are holy. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Be honest in everything you are doing. Holiness is guaranteed. With honesty, holiness is what? Guaranteed. <laughs> Say to us in Romans 13, 13, let us work honestly. Let us work honestly as in the day, not in rioting and drunkenness, not in, not, not in traveling and what turning, what turning, not in strife and in envy. Let us be honest in everything we are doing. Praise Master Jesus. And for us to be honest, we must work with, with God. Philippians 5 verse 1. Be therefore followers of God, not of men. Not of who? Of men. Be ye therefore followers of God as their children. As their children. So if you are followers of God, you will walk in love. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Ephesians chapter 5, 1. Be followers of God. As his death son, verse 2, and walk in love, God is love, as Christ also has loved us and has given, given himself for us an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet smelling savour. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. So let us walk side by side with Christ, and our life will never remain the same again in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I'm closing. Got time? Philippians 2 verse 1. If therefore, if therefore, be, no, say if therefore, be therefore any consolation in Christ, if any comfort of love, if any fellowship of the Spirit, if any bowel 
and mercies. Verse 2. Fulfill ye my joy, that ye be like-minded. Fulfill ye my joy, that ye be like-minded. Have ye the same mind, same, same thing, in holiness and righteousness. Fulfill ye my joy. Philippians 2, verse 2. Fulfill ye my joy, that ye be like-minded. Have the same love. Be of one accord, of one mind. Verse 3. Let not it be done through strife or vain glory, but in all loneliness of mind, let each esteem other better than themselves. Verse 4. Look not every man on his own thing, but every man also on the thing of others. Verse 5. Let this man be in you. Let this mind be in you. Which mind? Which mind is that? The mind of Christ. Let's speak which was also in Christ Jesus. Praise Master Jesus. That says, who being in the form of God, taught it not robbery to be equal with God. Verse 7. But made himself of no reputation made himself of no reputation and took upon himself the form of a servant, the form of a slave, like king of kings become a slave for us and was made in the likeness of man. Humility is a key. Humility begot honesty. We are humble. I mean, true humbleness. You'll be honest to yourself and to other people. Let us live like Christ, be holy, be righteous, and at the end, we will rest in heaven in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. The topic it says, let your conduct showcase Christ. Ask yourself again, is my conduct, is my lifestyle showcasing Christ or chasing people from Christ? And I pray, God will have mercy upon me. Have it upon you, have it upon us in any way we have been doing it wrongly. And the Lord will help us to be perfect from now on in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. This is how far we can go. And the Lord bless his word in our hearts in Jesus' name. Amen. Are you out there? You're not born again. Come on now. Because the time is running very, very fast. And it's getting too late for you. Hell is not a place to be. Even goats can pray, say, go, I don't want to go to hell. Say after me, if I will be born again. If I will accept Jesus Christ, I shall be a personal Savior. Say, Lord Jesus, I've heard your word. I've seen the reason why I should be holy and pure. I want my life to glorify you. I want to start showcasing your glory to the people. Have mercy upon me. Forgive me all my sin. Wash me from all my iniquity. I accept you today, Lord, as my Lord and personal Savior. Take my name away from the book of death. And write it in the book of life. I am born again today. All things have passed away. And all things have become new. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for bringing your word my way. Thank you, Jesus, for saving my soul. In Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Mm. Amen. If you have declared this, this, this declaration, I pray with you. The Lord will strengthen you, mm. empower you, grant mm. you all you need to mm. run this race. The race is easy if you run it with Christ. And I pray the Lord Himself will hold your hands. Mm. And you will not force your hand out of, off His hand to the end of time. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord.
Hallelujah. 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 H